it's Jeff Raccoon 47 with a little something else interesting to show you. These are called shurikens. This is a Japanese weapon and tool. Most people know these as used by the ninjas and samurais of ancient feudal Japan. They're primarily a throwing weapon. You can also use it as a kind of in a, like this, use it to as a hand load where you can you have to be careful how you do that. You don't want to hurt yourself when you use it like that. Punch somebody with that, do some damage like that, or hammer fist them. They come in different sizes and different shapes. But this is a very unique weapon. It's very unique and they're meant some of them are Samurai would use more ornate ones like this because they were a little fancier than the ninjas. The ninjas would use more, more simpler designs like these two. Right here, see these two? A ninja would use something like this. He would he'd blacken it with, in a fire, give it a nice smoky color so it doesn't clint. But these things are pretty lethal if... If in the right hands, you would, as I said, you would throw these at a at an adversary. It wouldn't it wouldn't actually kill them if you would just do it. Somebody struck them somewhere like in their sternum or something like that. You have to, but generally the ninja would poison these things. The samurai led by a bunch of asinine little rules where they couldn't poison them. They would do it anyway out of... But the ninjas would commonly poison theirs with different plant toxins. A few... Sometimes they'd use liver from the puffer fish, which is also known as fugu, and which contains a, a potent poison called tetrodotoxin. Heterodotoxin, I uh, forget how to exactly pronounce it. I'm not Wade Davis, so I don't really know. I'll be honest with you that these are pretty unique devices that you would you'd usually carry them hidden in your pocket. The thing about throwing stars, they're, they're technically legal to own here in, near where I live, but you can't carry them out on the street with you. You can have them as part of your collection of knives or, or stuff that you can't carry them out on the street. You can't take this walk down the road with these. You can sit in your backyard, toss them at a tree stump. But you can't walk down the street with them and carry them as a, as a weapon. They're very, they're very beautiful. This this one print right here I think is particularly beautiful if you take a look at the Japanese character kanji characters on this. If I'm pronouncing that right, if you know Japanese and you you hear me mispronouncing a word like shuriken or or uh, the word. Dabaru, which is a Japanese version of a pocket knife. The, the commoners, I want to get a Dabaru. If I'm mispronouncing that, let me know in, in the comments. Or or even know, put a response video. I just thought I'd show you these throwing stars and let you in on a, little, a few little facts about throwing stars, a.k.a. shurikens, which is the correct name for them. Oh, well, you have a nice day.